Well, apparently, in a league of 22 teams, there's only 42 games. Who knew that? I certainly didn't. I thought it was 46. I'm a complete idiot. I thought there was 24 teams in this league. So, yeah, we've had uh, less games than I thought. So, the end of the season has snuck up quite nicely on us. But uh, playoffs are a possibility, but not a probability. Hey guys and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 8 of, no sorry, part 9 of season 1 of The Journeyman with Dalton and in today's episode we have our final two matches of the season against Geisley and Leamington Spa and yeah, since you were last with us it's been a little bit up and down. We've already played two matches. We lost one and we won one. Um, I mean, if we didn't win that game, promotion would not be possible. If we look at the league table, we're three points behind Chester, um, five points behind Leamington Spa. We're two games to go. We need to win both of them. Um, it's going to be tough, most definitely. We definitely need to win the game against Leamington Spa. But we need to start it off today against Geisley. And we have got a new tactic. We're playing the diamond um, on a Gagan press and ish style. Um, and we're, we're just trying, um, uh, trying to do something a bit different. Try and create more chances. It worked in the last game. Whether or not we're going to win this one, I really don't know. Probably not, is how I'm going to put it. Um, I'm actually going to swap this up a little bit. Uh, we're going to have Stephen Thompson in behind the striker. Joel Phillips, I, I don't really know why I brought him in, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll bring uh, Luke Walsh back in. Goodness me. Uh, but you can see some of the conditions are absolutely shot because we're, we're at that stage of the season where we've had two games in 48 hours, which is awful. But Madison will start and go with Murray, St. Ledger, Byrne and O'Hanlon in defence. We've got Wheatley in defensive midfield with Sir Tom and uh, David Sayers in the middle of the park. And then we've got um, Stephen Thompson starting in behind Stevens and Simon Ainge up top. I would have had Rhys Steich in there, but um, Steich has unfortunately got a bit of an injury. He is on the bench just in case he's needed today. But uh, hopefully he won't be and we can run out worthy winners here away to Geisley it's going to be tough it really is we're playing in yellow and purple and we never play well in yellow and purple so uh, well, we will have the league table up I don't know where it's gone uh, I don't know why it wasn't there uh, to start with but we will have it up today because we need to to basically keep an eye on on how the other teams are doing and that will load at some point here's LeBird we definitely don't want to lose this match and that's a good save from Madison early on here. A dark one. Gets it into the middle. Cowgill's there. Gets it into the middle. St. Ledger away. Stevens away now. That was uh, that was a little bit nerve-wracking, to say the least. But as you can see, the league is now here. Um, here's Ainge. Ainge on the ball. Sayers. Sayers boots it forward. Sir Tom, come on. Oh, I thought I thought, I thought, thought that could have been a chance there. But instead, it's a ball over the top. Here's Lebird. It's going to be a penalty, isn't it? <laughs> Nugent. Jones, come on. Get the tackle in and, and get counter-attacking. A dark where into the middle and... I mean, we've spilled it. Luckily, it seems to be a goal kick, though. We got away with that. Right, come on, get creative. Let's get these inspired. Let's, let's, let's try and win this. I mean, we're creating chances, which is good to see. Possession-wise, we'll, we'll not worry about, but uh, we are creating chances. Oh, Sir Tom is injured. No, that's not good. Here's James now to Harvey. Gets it wide to Nugent now. Nugent on the ball. Here's Harvey again. Nugent, James, James again. Hart Hatfield gets it through to Libbard. 
Oh, this is horrible. They're just pushing us further and further back here. With some really, really nice football for this level. Oh, that's a that's a free header and a clear cut chance missed. Right, show some passion. Let's get them fired up. Might have to bring Sir Tom off at half time. He's on fifty nine percent. We need him for the last uh game. He does want to come off as well, so he will come off at half time. Um Although I don't know who for, because we don't we don't have anybody um, on the bench that can play a central midfield. Oh, half time nil nil, and we we definitely need to win this game. Right. Uh, I'll tell you what we can do. We can move Wheatley forward, swap them two round. Uh, I'll play him as what he's meant to be, um, and we can bring on Jack Volks. And we can do this. Play a, a five at the back system. And just hope. Hope and pray. But uh, five at the back should work quite nicely, hopefully. Come on. Right, get creative. Let's get them inspired again. How are Chester doing? Chester still nil nil. What about Lemington? Lemington are nil nil as well. So we could do with both of them losing really. <laughs> um, oh, Hanlon's injured now. Right, we'll bring Galbraith on. And I guess we have to bring on Reese Stitch. I know it's it's not ideal because he is injured, but we need a goal here. To keep our promotion hopes alive. Come on. Just a chance. That's all we all we want. Here's Galbraith. Sires. Steitch! Yes! He's put it in. Reese Steitch. We've brought him on. He's only on one leg. What are you doing? Why are you doing roly polies when you've only got one leg? But he's put it in. It's 1-0. This could be a miracle. It really could be. We're on 64 points now. No need a 1-0 up at Leamington Spa. This is this is all working out beautifully. Chester are 1-0 up. I don't care about Chester. I just care about Nuneaton holding that lead. Us holding that lead as well. And I tell you what. This could be an absolute miracle. <gasps> oh, we nearly made it two there. I just want the full-time whistle. Come on. Blo yes. And I think, yes, the other match has gone our way too. All we have to do is beat Lemington Spa. So as you can see, going into the final day of the season, we're in a battle with Lemington Spa. We're two points behind, three to play for, of course. So we've got to win for the, the this, this match. Uh, and if we do win it, we finish seventh. If we don't, we finish eighth. We may well get sacked. Um, it's not entirely clear um, the expectation was to finish in the playoffs we didn't meet any of the other expectations so we could well get sacked if we lose today so that's that's one thing but hopefully we'll manage to do it if we have a look at the medical center I have got um, injections going on <laughs> for uh, two of the players uh, Ben O'Hanlon and Sir Tom Elliott <coughs> pardon me um, to, to to get them through this match because it is such a big match for us now um, and Josh Murray as well has got injections so unbelievable how many injections we've got going we're going to get accused of uh, performance enhancing drugs if we win this match but uh, look at the clip of this team we've got Madison and goal we've got Murray uh, St Ledger Byrne and O'Hanlon we've then got Wheatley Sir Tom uh, Liam Hughes and Ben Stevens and Steich and Ainge up top Oh, it's going to be such a pressurised game. The ideal scenario is obviously... Giddings, what a name that is. The ideal scenario is to um, to get an early goal here. I, th I think we need to. Uh, otherwise, the, the, the pressure is just going to get too much. Um, let's have a little look. If we win here, we'll secure our playoff. Um, so go out there and impress me. The fans are expect. Oh thought the fans might might bring something out of them but it hasn't oh but this this is the one really 
The, the, it's, it all comes down to this, this season of, of highs and lows. And, um, you know, it's 90 minutes of football now. We've got to go out there. We've got to play the way that we know we can do uh, from time to time. And here's a corner. So Tom Elliott takes it into the middle. Burns there. And that is the sort of chance we need to be taken. <sighs> Unbelievable. Free header there. And uh, that, that should have been 1-0. Alas, it wasn't. Um, and... and we're still here at nil nil. We need to win. Lemington Spa are quite happy to stick ten men behind the ball, I'm pretty sure. You know, they're not bothered about winning today. I don't even think well actually them winning could could move them up to uh sixth place, so you never know. They might they might try and, and, and win this match. Uh, he has Edwards now to steal. That's forward to Craig and it's one nil. And I thought that was offside, but it's not. And we're 1-0 down now. And surely, surely that, that means that it's all over. I don't think we're going to score two goals today. But uh, oh, that was a nice little ball. It looked offside, admittedly. But there's, there's nothing you can do at this stage. It's 1-0 now. And we've just got to hope that the, the team come back after the break. And... Um, do something I don't know what we can do here we'll be aggressive with them I mean that's what I mean we needed that early goal and we had the chance as well that, that's the most frustrating thing we had the opportunity um, you know not long into the match and oh Stitch has just been hacked which isn't good because he's not he's not that fit but um, 50 minutes now gone, and 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 we're we're suddenly racing towards the finish line here. So what do we do? How do we make this team into something um, a lot better? Do we go for that? Do we try and be a bit more attacking? Maybe that. Possibly, possibly we go for that. We'll put him on a target man on support. We'll have two poachers either side of him. It could work. We've we've got to do something at the end of the day. You know, there's 35 minutes left in this match. That's really not long. So, you know, if they go 2-0 up, it's all but over. But if we can get a goal back... Who knows? Here's Hughes. Hughes gets it forward to Stage, but Stage can't do anything. Gittings gets it forward towards Burn. Keeper comes out collect. That's what we needed. Come on. Get the ball forward. We're going to... Oh, we, we can't tell them anything. Come on. Here's Sir Tom. Sir Tom Elliott. Boots it forward towards Steich. Oh! How do you miss that? As a striker, how on earth do you miss that? Oh, show some passion. We've got 25 minutes to try and do something here. I just really don't know what else I, 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 I can tell them to do. Focus play through the middle. Very direct. Dribble less. Be more expressive. Just don't know what else we, we, we can do now. Distribute over the defence. It's all over. It's all over, guys. There's no way we're getting three. Two was a push. Three, it'd be a miracle. <sighs> what a shame. What a shame that this season has come down to this now. Madison boots are clear. Now he has Stenson, he has Gittings. Switches the play to steal. Got 15 minutes to go here. And remember, we've <laughs> virtually got no defence now. Hughes boots it forward towards Steich. He's not there. Oh, that's that's a bit of luck. Stevens with the goal. It's 2-1. Come on, we need two goals in uh, 10 minutes now. Oh, 
I mean, who, who do we bring on? Stevens has scored. I think Staichi. Oh, no, nah, we, we we just can't do that. Right, let's bring on Caton and... Uh, right, th th this, this is going to be absolute stupidity. But uh, you'll see what I'm about to do. Uh, edit. Um, so we're going to move Sir Tom there. We're going to have him there. Oh, not him. Him there. Um, and we're going to go inside forward attack. Winger attack. Sir Tom can be the deep line player maker. Look at the clip of that formation. But this is, is what we've got to do now. Come on. Nine minutes to go here. Uh, push forward, I guess. I just I just don't see it. I don't get how we're not having any highlights at all here with this uber attacking style, but it is all going to be over. Jack Byrne with the throw, and it is full time. Oh, we've lost on the last day of the season. Unacceptable. We just... We missed two massive chances in that match. The the header from Jack Byrne um, early on, and then the uh, the miss from from Reece Stitch as well. And uh, that is the end of the season, unfortunately. Leamington Spa have won the Battle of Blackwell Meadows. Uh, O'Hanlon's injured. Sir Tom's injured now, so we'll, we'll let them go for their end of season break or whatever. Ben Stevens, player of the match apparently. I don't know how. <laughs> uh, but he's done alright since he came in in January, so we might try and get him on loan next season. He is all... Um, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, actually, no, he's, he's not available on a free this summer, so we might not be able to get him. Uh, we, we'll hopefully try and get somebody a bit better, but uh, this is the story of the season then. It all started so well, didn't it? If you look at that, we would have easily got promoted this season, you would have thought, but second half of the season has been less successful. We have had a little bit of a, a decent spell towards uh, the running, but um, yeah, it's disappointing, isn't it, to finish 8th place and, and have a team managed by me to score as little as few goals as we did is uh, is really quite worrying 46 goals which is is almost the lowest in the division um really did struggle to score goals this season we did just about manage to um keep a positive goal difference though and, and conceded the least amount of goals in the division apart from uh, Hereford so um yeah, progress, I guess, in terms of defensive play. We need to work on, on getting some new attackers into the squad and, and, and a few more creative players because we that's where we've struggled this year. We'll have a little look at uh, squad performances. I have um, the, the ones highlighted in red are the ones that I have uh, sort of set for release. I'm going to try and sign down the, the rest of the players on a new contract so the likes of St. Ledger I want to get in. Uh, for another year, Ben O'Hanlon, I guess, mainly for his potential or over anything else. Um, uh, we'll also try and get in uh, Staichi, um, Jack Volks as well, who's who's done decently when he's been called upon this year. Maybe Stephen Thompson, I, I'm not sure. Uh, he's been at Darlington in absolutely years. That's the main reason why I want to keep him around, but... Uh, yeah, squad performances, top goal scorer for the season was Simon Ainge with 15, 12 for Reese Stage 4 for, for Ben uh, Stevens in the end, and 2 each for a bunch of players. Top assists is Stephen Thompson with 10, we've got 8 for Jordan Nicholson there, uh, who we definitely want to keep around for next season, uh, and 3 each for Stage and Ainge. Top average rating is a 6.76 for Johnny Madison. Um, worst average rating is a 6.32 for Harvey Saunders. Absolutely terrible player. And Luke Trotman, a 6.33. Terrible. The best player over the last five games was Stephen Thompson. Um, and it's a shame because he didn't actually get much of a chance late on in the season. Uh, you can see Jordan Nicholson as well. Johnny Byrne, James Caton. All having decent spells as well so that is where we're going to leave it for this season of the journeyman the first season 
of this story is already over and if you have enjoyed it then make sure you do leave a like down below it really does help me out it means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content and i'll see you tomorrow for the start of season two i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye